So what we're going to do is called local linearization or tangent line approximation. And you have to appreciate this for what it is, and it's this. No matter how crazy a curve looks, if I wanted to approximate a curve that's doing this, if I wanted to approximate this value right here, what I can do is if I zoomed in, if I really was on a calculator and I could zoom in right here, this graph is really going to look like a line. And what line that is, it's the tangent line. So plugging into a very simple equation of a line uh, is much simpler than plugging into some wackadoodle uh, equation. So you have to remember this is, I know it seems silly because you're like, can I just type in the calculator and, and get the exact value? But you have to remember this was back in before calculators. And it's cool that you, mathematicians and people could approximate all sorts of equations uh, by using a line. So here's the idea. What I first want you to do is write the equation of the tangent line through A. So now this happens to fall, I mean, whether that's on the x-axis or not does not matter, so don't let that uh, confuse you or think it has to be that way. So if this is the point A, F of A, because this graph right here is F of X, so that would be A, F of A. So if I ask you to write the equation of the tangent line at that point, so I'm asking you to write the equation of this red line right here, you would say, well, if I, if I knew that, if I know that point, it's going to be y minus the y-coordinate of that point is equal to the slope of that red line, which, what's the slope? Well, that's the derivative at a, that's what the slope of the, that's what a derivative is, right? Slope of the tangent line, and then x minus a. So here's the deal. What you are doing, because people, I hate it when people go, oh, I forgot the equation for uh, tangent line approximation or linear uh, approximation or local linearization. It actually has three different names. Uh, Y'all, all it is, it's the equation of the tangent line. It's not a new formula. What you're going to do is pop this f of a to the other side. So what you're saying is when I get close to this a value, if I pick, if I'm trying to approximate, here's what you're doing. You're actually approximating this y value, that's what you're doing, using this y value. That's what you're doing. You're saying that the f of x is approximately f of a plus f prime at a and x minus a. Notice when this is close, when I have this value that's close to a, these y values, if you look at the tangent line and the actual, they're very, very close together. So what you're going to have to do in the problem is you pick this value. So let's get to an example, and, and I think it will make sense, more sense to you. So it says, use linear approximation to, F, uh, to estimate f of 3.03 if f of x is that equation. Now, I'm not even going to do that second part yet because I don't I want you to understand that you don't have to draw anything to do a linear approximation the first thing you have to do is write the equation of the tangent line so you're gonna pick a value for your a that is close to this that you can plug in easily in your head now that shouldn't be difficult to think about you're like alright what's close to 3.03 .03? that I could plug in easily, well, that's going to be 3. So you're going to find the tangent line, the equation of the tangent line at 3. So I'm going to plug in that. So that would be 3 cubed minus 4 times 3. 27 minus 12 gives me 15. I can come up with the derivative easily. Thank goodness for the power rule. And I can do that. And thus, I can find the derivative at 3, or in other words, the slope of the tangent line. And again, 27 minus 4, that gives me 23. So if I wrote the equation of the tangent line, it would be this. I think we can all agree that is your first step every time. Now, what's the idea <coughs> of local linearization is that 
This curve here, when you get close to three, it looks like this line. If I zoomed in really tightly to three, it's, it's going to look like that line. So f of 3.03, .03, I'm going to plug into this line with my value because it's easier to plug into a line, a linear, than a cubic function. And so I pop the 3.03 .03 here, and then I'm going to solve that out. And you can see that you can do that in your head. So you have 15 plus 23. Whether you work in decimal or fraction is kind of up to you. I kind of go back and forth depending on uh, the difficulty of it. And so 23 times 0 0.03, well, 3 times 23 is 69. Move the decimal twice. So that's 15 plus 0.69. So your final answer, your linear approximation, f of 3.03 .03 is approximately 15.69. That's much easier than plugging into this cubic and having to cube it. And then you, you can do this very, very quickly. So this is what your actual answer is. Now, the second part of that, I'll be honest, later on, we're going to figure out a, uh, a better way to prove if the approximation is an over or underestimate, but it's gonna take involve something that we don't know how to do yet. So let's just do it this way for the sole fact that, again, I want you to see what you're doing. Now graphing that curve, hopefully you can use your algebra skills and see that that's x squared minus four. So I'm gonna have three zeros at zero. I'm just drawing a sketch, but I know it's gonna do something like this. Boom, 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 very rough sketch. And this was at two. So at three, what you wrote was the equation of the tangent line at three, so it's like this. So you tell me, is the approximation an overestimate or an underestimate of the actual value? Well, do you understand what you just did? You approximated on the tangent line, and I know this is, my, my thing is not to scale, but you approximate, if this is at 3, you approximate it on the tangent line, and the actual value is on f of x. So this approximation is an underestimate. Because again, the why is that? Because the tangent line is below the curve. Okay. Again, we're going to make this a stronger argument later, but just for now, this is okay. Okay? I really should say f of x, what curve? So the whole key is you writing the equation of the tangent line. Let's look at another one. That's the, the good news is it's, it's honestly the same steps every time uh, when you do it. It's just the numbers are different. So let's look at this next one. This one's a little different. It's like, okay, whoa, that didn't give me much information. But they pro I promise you they've given you enough, so let's look at it. It says, suppose that the only information we have about the function is that f of 4 equals 2, and the graph of its derivative, I always label f prime, uh, is shown. Use linear approximation to f estimate f of 3.9. Okay, what do you have to remember about linear approximation? When you see that word, then you think to yourself, my first step is to write the equation of the tangent line. What do you need to write the equation of the tangent line? Well, again, what's close to 3.9 that you can read definitely, you don't have an equation, but you could read definitely off this graph. And also, this is a clue in as well, they gave you f of four is two. So they gave you the point so you have to find f prime at 4. Well, they gave you the derivative. You can read that off with your eyes. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. This value, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that value is 6. So my tangent line at 4, even though I don't have the graph of f, I know the equation of the tangent line at 4 would be y minus 2 is equal to 6 x minus 4, and then what do you do? 
all you're doing is you're solving for that y, popping that over. So f of 3.9 is gonna be two plus six times, this is where I put the 3.9. Where you put your x is once you have the line, you're plugging it into something simple. And then you're gonna go from there. So you have two plus six times, that's gonna be negative 0.1. So 2 minus 0.6, so my linear approximation is going to be 1.4. This one didn't ask you about over or underestimate because we'll, you don't know the graph, but I promise we will, we will come back to that uh, and figure out how to answer that. So that's the idea behind local linearization. All righty. Peace out.